Okay, this is kind of a, man, it's not an emergency video, but it is kind of an important video. Um, I've had some customers have some bad cars, and I've experienced this when I've demonstrated uh, the digital system. If your car, when you put your car on the track and you go through the program mode, press the program car button, press the back of the controller, I get flat lines, take the car off the track, I have lane switching, but watch what happens when I do fuel. See how it loses its power? It resets it. Take the car off the track, okay, and uh, we want to replace the uh, computer chip. So you're going to replace the computer chip with a new one. Bingo. Like that. I'm doing this with one hand. I don't recommend anybody do this. But I don't have my camera crew with me right now. Okay, so the chip is in there. The motor. Put your motor in. Click. Do the program. Back of the controller. Flat line. On the track. Boom. Bad chip. Okay. If it makes that quivering sound on your board, don't use a car anymore. Um, replace the chip or call for a chip replacement, okay? This is just kind of a mini tech on uh, digital car maintenance. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call. Um, anything else? Nah, I think that's about it. Remember now, number one reason why a digital car won't work is the prongs aren't touching the circuit. These are the prongs. That is the circuit. Okay, guys. Have fun racing. Bye.